The 3M VAC Therapy System is an integrated wound management system for use in acute, extended and home care settings. When used on open wounds, it is intended to create an environment that promotes wound healing by secondary or tertiary intention by preparing the wound bed for closure, reducing edema, promoting granulation tissue formation and perfusion, and removing exudate and infectious material. Bridging or offloading technique is a good option for patients with wounds on weight-bearing areas where it is important to minimize the chance of creating additional pressure points. Appropriate offloading of the foot is essential in order to maximize the therapeutic benefits of VAC therapy. VAC dressings come in multiple shapes and sizes to accommodate a wide variety of wound types, sizes and shapes. The components of VAC dressing kits are the 3M VAC dressing, which includes the 3M VAC granufoam dressing, the 3M VAC white foam dressing and the 3M VAC granufoam silver dressing, the Sensatrack pad, the 3M VAC drape or 3M VAC Dermatac drape and a 3M VAC ruler with two foam quantity labels. All components are disposable, single use only and packaged sterile. Before applying a new dressing, remove and discard the previous dressing per institution protocol. Thoroughly inspect the wound to ensure all pieces of dressing components have been removed. Perform a thorough wound and para wound area cleaning per physician order or institution protocol prior to each dressing application. Ensure adequate hemostasis has been achieved. Shown here is a foot wound requiring a standard VAC dressing. Prepare the para wound area and picture frame or window pane the wound with a hydrocolloid dressing or another vapor permeable adhesive film dressing such as VAC drape or 3M Tegaderm transparent film dressing. To protect intact skin from direct contact with the foam, cut a piece of VAC drape to accommodate the entire length from the wound site to where the sensor track pad will be placed. Cut the foam dressing to dimensions that will allow the foam to be placed gently into the wound without overlapping onto the skin. Gently place appropriate VAC dressing foam into the wound cavity. Do not force dressing foam into any area of the wound. Cut one thin, elongated strip of dressing foam. Place the piece of foam and ensure that it contacts the dressing foam in the wound. Ensure the foam does not come in contact with intact skin. Apply the drape over the foam, extending it to cover both the wound and the elongated foam to obtain a seal. Pinch the VAC drape and carefully cut an approximately 2.5 cm hole, not a slit, through the VAC drape. The hole should be large enough to allow for removal of fluid and exudate. You do not need to cut into the foam. Apply the pad, which has a central disc and a surrounding outer adhesive skirt. Remove both backing layers 1 and 2 to expose the adhesive. Place the pad opening in the central disc directly over the hole in the drape. Apply gentle pressure on the central disc and outer skirt to ensure complete adhesion of the pad. Pull back on the blue tab to remove the pad stabilization layer. Connect the sensor track pad tubing to the canister tubing and ensure the clamp on each tube is open. Position clamps away from the patient. Turn on power to the VAC therapy unit and select prescribed therapy setting. Assess the dressing to ensure seal integrity. The dressings should be collapsed and have a wrinkled appearance. There should be no hissing sounds. For more product demos and application techniques, visit 3m.com medical.